But first, does it matter who owns your local TV station? While polls show Americans are increasingly worried about so-called fake news, they also show that many trust their local news more than other sources. The largest owner of local stations in the country is Sinclair Broadcasting. A viral video of Sinclair news anchors has again raised concerns about the way in which the company mixes news with partisan political opinion. William Brangham updates his story about the broadcast giant that originally ran last year. A train derailment in Tennessee. Some routine road maintenance has led to a squabble. We have some breaking news to tell you about. This is out of Bethesda tonight. The night after the night, the country's largest owner of local TV stations, the Sinclair Broadcast Group, reaches over a third of homes across the nation. Compromise plan for the controversial Kenesha Sin. Most of us think of local news as just that, local. Stations run local stories produced and reported by local people. But if recently you tuned in to say WVTV, which is Sinclair Station in Milwaukee, you saw this. Does the president have to repeat that fact day in and day out for us to believe it? That's Boris no, Epstein, not. former member of the Trump administration and now chief political analyst for Sinclair. And here he was again on WEAR in Pensacola. The president stating the fact that the fringes of the left and the right. And on KSAS in Wichita are both capable of hate and violence does not mean he's condoning any of it. And again and again on every single one of the 193 Sinclair stations across the country. Eric Lipton is a reporter for the New York Times who's been covering Sinclair. They have you know, a, a, what they call must runs, which include uh, Boris Epstein, who was a, a, a surrogate for Trump, who is you know, on the air talking about conservative issues. You know, while the local news stations largely decide what their local news is going to be, you know, a covering of local government crime and, and local issues, there are these must runs that go on their networks across the United States, which are, have a decidedly conservative flavor. This partisan tilt has many free speech advocates alarmed because not only does Sinclair own such a large chunk of the marketplace already, but it's hoping to get bigger still. If a proposed $4 billion merger with Tribune Media goes forward, Sinclair would now reach three out of four American households. Journalism professor Louis Friedland. It is a real step in a very different direction to begin to, to, to say that the most trusted news source of most Americans is going to be uh, allowed to be turned into an opinion uh, organization, opinion machine, for a very narrow, uh, narrowly conservative uh, point of view, night after night in local communities. Television remains the main source of news for many Americans. In 2016, 46% of adults said they got their news from local TV stations, and it's information they trust 41% of registered voters said they trust local news to tell the truth, while just 27% trust national news. Sinclair disputes having any kind of a political bent. Its executives declined to talk with us on camera for this report. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. This weekend, the online site Deadspin created this compilation of dozens of Sinclair's local newscasters recording an identical promo accusing the national media of spreading fake news. And the agenda controls exactly what people think, and this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 The video spread quickly on social media, again stirring criticism of the broadcast giant. Scott Livingston, Sinclair's senior vice president of news, responded in a memo saying, the promo served no political agenda and represented nothing more than an effort to differentiate our award-winning news programming from other less reliable sources of information. And today, President Trump defended Sinclair, tweeting, Sinclair is far superior to CNN and even more fake NBC, which is a total joke. Meanwhile, Sinclair's bid to buy Tribune and thus expand its reach dramatically in local news is awaiting approval from the Justice Department and the FCC. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm William Brangham in Washington, D.C.